This is Youth Elect TT. Welcome back as we continue to showcase our nominees in the quest for the next Youth Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Behind me, the ever majestic Trinity Cathedral, a landmark here in Port of Spain, a building rich with history. Because back in the 70s, when there was the Black Power Movement and the Revolution, it's alleged that the walls were stormed and some of the contents within the cathedral were painted black. I guess it goes to show as we look back on those years that once there is a movement for change and it's done measured with passion and purpose, that change can indeed come about. Let's see if our youth prime minister and our nominees can bring about that change via their words. We take you back. Why are we only given these trivial rules such as beach cleanup or which bottle is it the plastic or the glass bottle to put in the recycling bin? Why? Why can't we have a say in deciding if a new quarry should be established in Arima or a new factory in Point Lisas? Why weren't we consulted when this highway to Point 14 was being built? Why? Do you have any views on the development that's currently taking place uh, on the peninsula from um, from the point of view of the impact on the environment and would you as youth prime minister do anything different in terms of the development of that area of the country? Okay, firstly, what is the reason for this development? Is it basically for profit? Is it because I can not see that you're taking a perfectly pristine environment. pristine environment and developing it? If you want profit, have tours into the, the environment the way it is. I don't see the point for all this, this development. That's me. I know money plays a role. I don't see the, the sense of removing farmers when we can't even put our own food security. I don't see the point. Very well said. Yep, excellent. This is Youth Elect TT. How would you rate your performance upstairs? Um, 10. I was on par. Had a great show in this morning, full of confidence, full of passion to get the youth voice out there. A small avocado is $20. A pound of chicken is $15. Right? I intend on cultivating corn on a large scale, internally producing the grains needed for our feed mills, so we will no longer need to import at such a high price. I assume what you're saying is food security. Yes. Uh, how, what, what would you change? What do you say the problem we have in Trinidad is right now and how would you change it? Cultivating corn. That creates jobs, right? It also has ethanol as a byproduct, which we could sell. And also now, we import corn from like Brazil and stuff like that. So you find feed is like, a bag of feed is $150 a bag now. Right, so when you're mining chicken, ducks, goats, cows, whatever, feed is very expensive. So when, if you could, control what like the corn industry and make it profitable and we could reduce the price of feed and sell it at them at a cheaper price that would be so much beneficial to our nation we, must, we might also have what you're trying to say a triple down sort of effect yes from it okay what was the journey for you upstairs when you met the panel of judges give me that perspective it was exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time who you think was the most intimidating really on that panel who you think really kind of how do you like wow boy? Mr. Daly. How do you deal with adversity on a personal basis? Well, I only really got over it about three years ago. Yes. It was always on my mind. Yes. It was always holding me back because you know it's always it's like a shadow following you around. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that I've always been a leader since in school, since in primary school, high school and stuff. Okay. And this is what the country needs. So you consider yourself leadership material? Yes, I do. And what about yourself makes you believe that you are leadership material? I will not give up. In terms of your delivery, in terms of articulating the points, or you thought you went about it? I thought I did all right. I was very nervous, so I might have made a little fumbling mistakes. But this is something a little new to me. So, you know, it'll take a little, hang, a little while getting used to it. You think you left them with a really good lasting impression when you walked out of that room? I think I did. Many crucial situations in which the youth of Trinidad and Tobago faces, such as poverty, bullying, gender inequality, and violence. The name of my political party is the Power of the Youth Political Party. 
I have chosen this distinct and unique name due to the simple fact that there is power in the youth of Trinidad and Tobago. Would you agree that mm. if you do have a female mm. prime minister and you became, become the next mm. uh, female youth prime minister, that you should be judged equally um, uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a male? And that would mean mm. as harshly as men sometimes mm. themselves yeah. are judged. I think that may you be a man or a woman, you should be treated equally Wonderful. with equal rights and make opportunities. Opportunities, yes. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you, dear. Thank yes. you. Thank Bye. you peaceful and tranquil, a far cry from what's happening right now inside the Situation Room. After the break, we will meet the final set of nominees inside the Youth Elect TT Auditions Day 1. Jump!